Hey there, um, Maddie here, reporting live from Oceanside, California. <laughs> um, I'm here at the Oceanside Museum of Art uh, visiting a exhibit dedicated to Raleigh Crump, who is a Walt Disney legend. Um, he helped create Small World, he helped create um, Tiki Room, he, as an intern at the animation studios, hand drew uh, every spot on the Dalmatians in certain scenes, I'll get to that later. Um, but overall, he's just a really amazing guy who worked side by side with Walt Disney himself and his artwork is being showcased here, so I'll take you along. So just so you know, I will be talking really quietly because I will be in a museum. I'll be very uh, monotone and very quiet because I want to be very respectful being a museum. But I just wanted to show you this because it's super cool and I can't wait to show you. Now I got to meet this man himself at a Oceanside Film Festival because someone last year made a documentary about him. It's called The Whimsical Imagineer. I don't know where you can really find it, but I went to a screening of it and I also got to see him get interviewed by Offhand Disneyland on YouTube. Um, that interview's over there, so I'll leave a link in the description. But um, what he didn't get to see because he lives far away um, was this museum that was then dedicated to him after this screening. Now here's a section that just is photos that commemorates his time at the Disney Company. Um, him working on Small World next to Walt Disney and with Mary Blair. This is him receiving his Legends pack. You can see Mike Eisner off to the side. These are all of his cast member name tags throughout the years, which is just really cool. Um, here's him around all the Small World dolls back in the day. You can just see, here's an original picture of Small World. It's funny, it says Bank of America, sponsored by Bank of America. And then here's a picture of him next to one of his designs, which is actually up in this corner right here. They're supposed to be um, just dainty figures hanging from strings and they naturally move because of the air in the room. They pick that up and that's what inspired all of these little spinny things, which is why there are so many moving parts on Small World. He's the reason for that. So here are some uh, just kind of mess around artwork for the creation of Small World. Um, here's one that I thought was really funny. It's Raleigh Crump drew this picture or painted this picture of Mary Blair as a Small World doll. Here is a scale model of what Small World was originally going to be. This was handcrafted by Raleigh um, and it had a working clock to sh showcase what the Small World could do. Now, this is an original print of the 101 Dalmatians animation poster. It's um, uh, the re-release, so it's not the original when the movie first came out, but the reason it's in here is because Molly Crump hand drew each one of the spots in the scene when all the puppies are watching TV, if you remember that part, and um, he just that was when, uh, when he was an intern, so it must have been really tough because they're in particular places and it probably was really, really tedious, so go him. Now in this exhibit, there's not just things that he did for Disney, it's just his artwork overall. So he has a ton of things that he did post Disney career, but you can obviously see some of Disney stuff probably inspired him to make some stuff like that. So here's something that used to be at Disneyland, but isn't anymore. It's called the Tower of the Four Winds, created by Raleigh Crump, along with that design of the moving parts that are naturally moved by the winds. Here's Walt Disney standing next to the model. And um, when it was made, they had to use bigger parts, so it didn't look as dainty as Raleigh imagined it. Um, so he, when he saw it, he called it a piece of crap and Walt said well it can't be a piece of crap it cost me two hundred thousand dollars okay so here's the pencil that inspired his idea for moving propellers and moving parts he took off this little metal piece and 
put it on top of the pencil and started on the tip of the pencil and just started spinning it and soon he made just a bunch of little moving propellers and moving parts and that's what inspired this, this model right here there's wind inside of this thing that's naturally moving the parts just super cool here's a picture of the real model Raleigh and Walt signed by Walt and here's Raleigh's son standing next to some of the propellers during the construction of this. Raleigh is also known as the creator for all of the main tiki's. For the tiki room he thought of the concepts of each of the tiki's that you can actually still see within the park and he actually hand carved some of them himself. This is actually done by him. Here's some concept art for the tiki room. And if I'm not mistaken, um, these tiki's haven't been replaced, so this is still the work of Raleigh. Here is Raleigh's award um, that he received when he became a Disney legend. If you go to the animation studios, you can see a giant version of this very statue. Um, and along with Raleigh's name and his hands within the Disney Legends Plaza at the Animation Studios. So something that is very little known about Raleigh Crump is that he actually sparked the idea of having a scary ride inside of Disneyland, which originally was going to be called Museum of the Weird, but eventually inspired the Haunted Mansion. Here's a self-portrait of him and his creations and just some ideas. Maybe this chair would talk to guests that maybe inspired Madame Leota eventually. And it was in the works for a long time. Walt Disney really liked the idea of it, but just didn't know how to entirely showcase it. This is him on his TV show explaining what it could be at Disneyland, which was a very popular thing for Imagineers to do on his show. So here's something you can actually currently find in the park. As you might know, um, in Disneyland, a lot of the windows on Main Street have real people's names. Um, this one was dedicated to him because of the Museum of the Weird. You can see the Tower of the Four Winds on it as well, um, which is super cool. Now, one of my most favorite parts of this exhibit might have to be this little rock right here. I just think it's a funny story because it shows a side of Walt that we weren't really supposed to see, which is like the non-family friendly side. Um, apparently, um, Raleigh was commissioned to paint a little rock with the word shit on it because that was Walt's favorite cuss word and that was a Christmas present to him done by his nurse. Okay. All right, I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I think Raleigh Crump is just a super awesome, artistic, creative guy. Um, and it's really cool diving into a, the life of someone who worked next to Walt Disney because when you think of Disneyland, you think, oh, it's just all done by Walt Disney. But no, he was the like pure contributor to the Tiki Room, Small World, all of these iconic things within the park. And it's really cool that someone recognized that and made an exhibit about him. So thanks for watching.